Hello there, and welcome to week five of our garden tour. Can you believe how much growth we've had in just the past couple of weeks here in the garden? These are my tomatillos. My tomatillos were put in less than five weeks ago. They were put in about four weeks ago, and they were seedlings that were only about this tall. I'm five foot three, and they are already up to my this one would be up to my nose over here, but right about here, they're about up to my chin. Look at how tall, and they are full of beautiful tomatillo blossoms. It's setting fruit heavily all over. So come with me, let's come on into the garden, and let's have our week five garden tour. So there are those beautiful tomatillos. Look how much they've grown. Let's take a closer look. Can you see the beautiful blossoms? And look at all of the fruit that's being set. We're going to have a bounty crop of tomatillos to make some beautiful salsa verde this year. Moving to the left a little bit here, if you recall just a few weeks ago, we planted some buttercup squash seeds that I harvested from last year and put them with some morning glories. And I know it's hard to tell because of the shadowing, but look at how much those have grown. They're almost to the top of the fence and they're gonna start growing up this beautiful arbor that we have here in the garden. Now earlier I did a video on some ant traps. We do have some ant issues on some of our plants and so I made some DIY borax and sugar ant traps. So I'll put the link to that up above. So if you're having some issues with ants, you can try making these yourself. Now let's look at our poor little herb garden that we have here. I'm not having a lot of success with this. If we look closer, you can see I do have some oregano coming up. And about 10 days ago, I put in some more basil and they're starting to come up. My thyme is not doing anything. I think it may have been a bad batch of seeds. And I do have just a couple of little oreganos popping up in this plant, in this pot as well. But really, I'm disappointed in my herbs this year. My gnome's not doing his job. He's not making things enchanting here in my little herb garden. Over here, we have our jalapenos. And as you can see there, they are set flowers. So we will be getting some jalapenos soon. They've grown, but they haven't grown as tall as I would like them to. Again, we've had ants in here, so if that's the issue, we won't be having that issue anymore. But we've got some marigolds and our jalapenos. And more jalapenos here. This is a taller plant. It only has a few flowers set. But look here, planted at the same time. Even though we've got flowers and it's setting fruit, this one just isn't doing as well as its companion plant that was planted at the same time. Again, we have more marigolds, and I even have some Christmas ornaments thrown in here. I like to use those to set my hose on top of, so it kind of helps diffuse the water a little bit when I'm watering. And look at this planter here. Ooh, my rooster says good morning. In this planter here, we have some bell peppers. Now, I did pinch the top on these bell peppers, and it's taking a little while, but they're starting to spread out. We're gonna get plenty of fruit once that takes off. And look at my cucumber plants. Growing up the trellis, setting fruit. getting plenty of cucumbers to make some delicious relish and dill pickles this year. 
if you recall, this is a cattle panel and it goes up and over the entrance into our orchard. And as it comes down the other side, our cucumber plants on this side are doing just as well. On the other side of the cucumbers, we have more pepper plants. And look, they're starting to flower. We're gonna get some fruit on these as well. That's gonna be beautiful when it fills in. Our sunflowers are doing very well. Look how much they've grown in the last week or two. Big, beautiful, tall stalks. These are gonna be a medium height sunflower and the ones in the back will be a bit taller. I put a tomato cage there to kind of help guide them up to the very top here alongside our summer kitchen. I also planted some heirloom seeds for some hollyhocks and those are coming in beautifully. We won't get any flowers on those the first year but we'll see if we can transplant them and get some next year. Here is our Sugar Rush Cherry Tomato Plant. And look at how it has just taken off. It's really grown. Lots of flowers. Lots of bunches of cherry tomatoes will be coming in. Here's a yellow bell pepper. And our green bell pepper. They're coming up nicely after being pinched at the top. They're spreading out where we're going to be having plenty of fruit on there. And then just look at our Kentucky pole beans. They're climbing that trellis, and they're well over five feet now. I love it. I can't wait until they grow all the way up over the top and meet the other pole beans in the raised garden on the other side. And here are those pole beans on the other side of the trellis. They're not growing as quickly as the others. Those aren't quite five feet yet up the trellis there, but they will be growing up and over, and they will meet the green beans on the other side. And this will look so wonderful from inside the summer kitchen. We have another sugar bush cherry tomato. Uh, there's something about this garden bed, they're not growing as well as the other garden bed. They're, they seem to almost be like a week or two behind. It's not as tall as the other, but it is. But the flowers are beginning to open and it's beginning to set fruit. We do have more bell peppers here. We have a yellow and we have a green. And then we have a beautiful little bounty of radishes for my husband those will be ready in a week or so. And look here at the end. We've got another green bean. This is a volunteer green bean. Left over from last year, a bean must have fallen down into the soil and it decided to grow. Now over here in this bucket, I attempted to grow some chives and they just didn't take off. I then planted some bunching onions and they didn't take off but look for a dollar I believe it was a dollar fifteen I picked up six celery plants at the nursery they were marked down so I popped those in there and let's see if we can get some celery to grow and look at that our first zinnia has bloomed I am so thrilled look at how beautiful the zinnias are doing in our blue chairs at the end of our raised garden we have three chairs full of zinnias. All of them have blossoms ready to bloom, ready to open. I love the color of this one, a beautiful deep magenta with a little ring of yellow and beautiful orange petals. I'm wondering if this one will be the same. And here we have our raised garden bed of Roma tomatoes. Lots and lots of beautiful flowers have opened up and we do have our first few romas forming. These are going to continue to grow. I have two on each side of this cattle panel and I've also planted some marigolds. They're a great companion plant for tomatoes. They help keep the pests away. And look down here. 
There's our first little Roma. And it's got a friend. <laughs> it's going to be great to have some fresh tomatoes this year. And it seems like overnight our cilantro went from just little sprigs of green to having beautiful cilantro leaves. I'll really be looking forward to having fresh cilantro for some street tacos and homemade salsa. And even though our other herbs aren't doing well, look at how beautiful the dill is coming in. All white and ferny. Can't wait until they start taking off. We're gonna use these for some beautiful dill pickles this year. Now earlier in this pot, I had planted some lavender and we did have a breach in security and the chicken came over and scratched all of the dirt out and I'm afraid that she must have thrown out all of the seeds because nothing's grown. So when I was at the nursery the other day, they did have some chocolate mint on sale. So I grabbed one and brought it home. It seems to have handled the transplant well and I'm looking forward to having some chocolate mint tea. And look who's joined us in the garden this week. Look at this adorable little ladybug that I painted on a rock. Look how sweet she is. Our chamomile is attempting to come back after being scratched through by the chicken that came through. The buds are there, but we're waiting for the flowers to open. I have two nasturtium that are coming up, so that's a really nice treat. Sadly, nothing for the lemon balm and nothing for the peppermint. But I'm going to hold out and hope that something shows up. If you recall, when the chicken got into the garden, she really nibbled out my mother's memorial rose plant pretty harshly. But I was very pleased to see this week that not only is it growing, but I have buds that have bloomed. There are several more buds waiting, and it's continuing to grow up the trellis. So I'm very pleased. <laughs> Look at the basil coming in. Do you remember just a couple of weeks ago, I was saying hello to my little baby basils. They were just tiny little things and they're really starting to take off. So I have two rows of basil with some random marigolds showing up. I had a couple, I had a couple of areas here in my garden stock where nothing was growing. So I popped in some more basil and they're starting to come up. Hello, baby basil. I've got two empty compartments there and I put some seeds in for some serrano chilies, but there's no activity there yet. And when I planted my Roma tomatoes, I pinched off the suckers and I propagated those for a while and kept them under the grow lights. And I just recently transplanted four of them out here. These two are doing great. This little one didn't make it. And this one's starting to catch up. I installed this outer ring on the green stock so when the peppers and the tomatoes grow, they'll have a little bit of support. And then here at the bottom, we have tons and tons and tons of marigolds. I can't wait for this to fill in with color all the way around. And we have our little hedgehogs keeping diligence here in the garden. So that's it for this week's garden tour. <laughs> Betty says hello. I think somebody's laying an egg for us. This past weekend, we added an additional run to the chicken coop. Be sure to check out the video. I'll put the link to that above so you can see what we've done here for our chickens and our turkeys and our ducks. So that's it for now from the garden for week five. Thank you so much for joining me. I can't believe how much the garden has grown. I'm so excited for the tomatoes and the green beans and the cucumbers to all start coming in so I can start canning in my summer kitchen. Join me next week. We'll have another update and see how things are going. Until then, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.